I figured now's as good as time as any because I'm on the last one. But if you are poor like me <laughs> and you don't have a uh, a TIG welder to weld these up, there is an alternative. And I spoke about about that in my last video. But if you get a a three eighths tap that takes a uh, it's a seven a five. I don't remember what, what drill size it was. I was going to drill it out, but come to find out it was really, really close to what the uh, what it's already drilled. Um, the base of these shafts down here is smaller than what the top is, so you're going to measure this on the top. It's going to be like 0.35, which is really close to 3 eighths. Um, but, trust me, a tap with some oil, put some oil in these holes, and just run it down a couple of times, you're going to get it. And then you just take a uh, 3 eighths 16 bolt or whatever size metric. You can do this metric if you're over in a not America and do whatever you want with it but as long as it's got I'm probably just gonna I said I was gonna use this this thread sealant I don't think I'm going to now I've got some uh, some red Loctite I'm just gonna goop it on there and run in there until it bottoms out and it galls up the threads and then it's gonna be good enough for me uh, anyway let me show you doing this last hole because I got the uh, I got the other ones done That's at least you see that a little bit of oil in here, and I'm just using an impact. You can do whatever you want. You want to go a little bit, then bring it out because it can't do it all at once. And I usually go to the base of the tap kind of like right here where it starts and that's uh let's see what is that it's got about an inch of useful threads the rest of them are tapered because that's just how the these taps work but now you can see it's threaded well you can trust me on that one but it is threaded is this let's try that one let's try the other there we go there you go so let's thread it all the way down in there well, I mean, as far as it can be. But, uh, yeah. This is what I'm going to do. And it seems to be, it's, it'll be enough. Just put some screws in it with some Loctite. Run them in there until they bottom out. Maybe give them a little, another little quarter turn. You're done. But that should be, uh, good enough for the, uh, for the DIYer. And then, of course, blow all your swarf and stuff out of this. I'm probably going to get the pressure washer with a little swirl tip on it and clean all this out. I'm not going to clean these because I can't clean the engine bay. Or I can't clean the heads. I, you can, but you got to pull valve covers and you got to check the lobes and make sure it's it's not on the valve. And I mean, let's be honest. I'm not getting in there. I'm not going to clean that up. I would like to, yes, but for a daily driver that's going to make standard horsepower, it's it can be dirty. <laughs> it's made it this far in life. <laughs>